हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आप लोगों के लिए एक छोटा सा असाइनमेंट है टू टेस्ट योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वैल्यू इटरेशन सो अगर आप उडे में कोर्स कर रहे होंगे तो आपने देखा होगा कि वैल्यू आइट्रेशन इज वन ऑफ द कोर फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस इन दिस टॉपिक सो एक अल्गोरिथम टू कहीं पे इंट्रोड्यूस किया गया है वैल्यू आइट्रेशन वैल्यू आइट्रेशन इज बेसिकली अल्गोरिथम to find the optimal value of each state aur aage hum dekhte hain ki agent uses the value of each state to make the decision on given a particular state which action it will perform so we have this value iteration in the left side the task for you is to apply this for a very simple agent an environment so what do you have this this particular environment let me explain this environment so the purpose of this exercise is to repeat these steps on this simple environment so that you will fully understand value iteration okay so let me explain the environment so environment is a very simple one we have this simple linear grid and what with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 states possible i have numbered them 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 i have started with 0 so that it will be consistent with the python naming convention where the list starts with a 0th index so this is the environment in which we have six uh, seven states possible and the agent can be in any of these in any of these agents have the possibility freedom to take action to go left or right okay so if the agent is here it can go left or right if the agent is here it can go left and right and if it's in the extreme corner even if it takes no no i will i will come to that later at any at any state agent can go in the left or right okay now depending and if the agent takes the action left it will move one step left if the agent takes the action right it will move one the step right for sure okay so if you are at 1 and you take the action left you will come to 0 if you are at 1 and you take the step right you will come to 2 at the corners though if you are at 0 and you take the action left you will stay at 0 if you are at 6 and you take the action right you will stay at 6 that's the states and the actions the reward setup is like this that i have designed it in such a way that the agent will eventually start moving towards the right towards the last corner so the reward setup is like this so depending on wherever you are you can take go you can move randomly left and right but you will only get a positive reward if you end up in state 6 anywhere else if you end up you'll get the zero reward okay so we have this simple environment simple list of states for each state you have a simple list of actions for each actions you have a simple setup of simple system of reward now coming back to the value iteration so value iteration says that the way we communicate to agent to take the right action is through creating a value function so value function is that you pre we find value for each state so we have state 0 to 6 so we need to find out what is the value of state 0 what is the value of state 1 what is the value of state 2 okay and the equation that these value satisfy is the bellman equation so the first task for you is to look at the notes and rewrite the bellman value equation so what will that that will give you uh, one equation for each of the node and in that node there will be multiple variables so overall you will get seven equation and seven unknown and those will be linear so you can use a computer system or a matrix system to solve that equation okay so that is task 1 for this setup for this setup write down the bellman value equation 
in which you'll have seven unknowns, v0, v1 to v6, and your job is to find out value for each state according to this scheme of things. The second task which I'm asking you to do is to I didn't read this algorithm very, very carefully. Think about what will this each of these line will do. Line 1, line 2, line 3, line 4. I want you to, on a piece of paper, using pencil, make a, this a 0 by, make this 1 by 7 grid. And for each iteration, I want you to follow along what will happen. <coughs> I want you to do this, the changes that is, I, uh, I want to, let me rephrase. On a piece of paper, I want, on a piece of paper, what I want you to do is, on a piece of paper, Start with, a, start with a grid like this, say we grid with the same size, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. And I would like to want you to do is that start with, start doing on that piece of paper the lines suggested by each line. So, what do you Input with, the first line says input theta greater than 0 and the tolerance, para, as the tolerance parameter and gamma is the discount factor. So on a piece of paper, you write down your theta is 10 to the power or your theta is 0 0.01 and your gamma, let's say, is 0 0.9. Then you say, okay, then what does line 2 says? Line 2 says, initialize all the states randomly. So you fill in some random values, 0 0.1. 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.9, 0 0.56, 0 0.24, 0 0.30. With some term with terminal value 0, the terminal value here 0 will come here, so here will be 0. Will be. Will be. Then I want you to see that what will happen to this, these numbers. What is what is, this is? These numbers are the initial initial guess for the value function for each state. I want you to on piece of paper on your on the paper repeat these do this calculation manually and see what each line of calculation will make changes in which grid and how much will that value change, and eventually what will you converge to so if you are doing things right you'll see that the value from the values these numbers converge to from task 2 should be around the same as the values you get from the task 1 theek hai to ye hai aapka homework ki ye ek simple sa environment agent action states aapko bataya gaya reward system bataya gaya in setup ka is ke liye aapko is states ke liye value function ke liye solve karna hai bellman equation ke liye because this is a very simple setup you can actually go and theoretically solve the bellman equation so from there you will get a solution for the v0 v1 to v6 the follow up task is to actually do all these steps on paper manually without any coding so to get a total understanding of this code and you will find out that if these codes are run significant number of times, the the values of V you get from this iteration, from this uh, uh, algorithm, 
eventually converge to the actual theoretical value which is coming from task one. ठीक है ये करो अगर कोई क्वेश्चन हो तो मुझे फोन करके पूछो